Here is a variety of instruments we can use to measure voltage and current. We need to be able to measure electrical quantities from tiny values like microamps through to large values, maybe hundreds of volts. We can replace all of these instruments with just this one device, a multimeter. It lets us measure both voltage and current over a wide range of values. It's called a multimeter because it combines many instruments in one. We can also use it to measure resistance and AC voltage, amongst other things. Now, to use it to measure voltage, I'm first going to plug in the leads. The black lead always goes in the black socket marked common. To measure voltage, I'll plug the red lead in here where it's marked V. To measure an unknown voltage, I always start off on the large range. This range here says 600, 600 volts. That's the full scale deflection. That means the largest voltage that the instrument will read on this range. Let's plug it in to this battery. You can see I get a reading, but only to one significant figure. How can I be more precise? I move down to the next range lower, marked 200 volts full scale deflection. You can see that my reading is now 1.5 volts. That's two significant figures. I can be more precise by moving to the next lower range. This range is 20 volts full scale deflection. My reading is now 1.54 volts. The next range down is marked 2000 M. That means that the full scale deflection is 2000 millivolts or 2 volts. The reading is now 1535 millivolts. The next range down is marked 200 millivolts. If I was to change down to this range, you can see that the reading is too high for it. Let's do it and see what happens. The reading has now gone and I just get a 1 on the display. This means that the voltage input is too high for that range. If this happens when you're doing an experiment, you simply need to increase the range until you get a proper reading. 